Hello Geometry students and welcome to another CUDA software worksheet tutorial. Today we are going to be doing isosceles and equilateral triangles. Now a couple things we need to understand real quick before we get started. What is an isosceles triangle? Well an isosceles triangle is one that has two congruent sides. These are typically called the legs and then a third uncongruent side to the other two called the base. Now if there's two congruent sides called legs then there also has to be two congruent angles that are opposite those legs. So that's an important feature that we're going to have two equal angles in isosceles triangle, two equal angles, and then two equal sides. Okay. Now, equilateral, as the name suggests, is a triangle that has three equal sides and three equal angles. So these three sides are all congruent and all the angles are congruent. Since all the angles need to add up to 360 degrees, or sorry, 180 degrees, I almost made a mistake, then each one of these angles is 60 degrees in an equilateral triangle. Now, for an isosceles, we don't know what the angles can be, we just know two of them are equal. So let's go ahead and get started. Most of these problems are fairly straightforward. So for example here, we're shown that these two angles are congruent. Well, if those two angles are congruent, then that means these two legs also need to be congruent. So if that's seven, then that also the other one, let me change the width of this real quick, make it easier. Then this one also needs to be seven. So X equals seven. Two, we have two equal angles again. That makes this an isosceles where these are the legs. So kind of identifying the legs is half the battle here. And we know that this is the base. That's the unequal uh, side of the triangle. Those are two congruent sides because they are opposite congruent angles. And when I say opposite, I mean like the angle opens up to it. Okay, up, opens up to the side. Okay, what do we got going on here? Well, here we have uh, we have two triangles, kind of. If you take a look, we have this triangle right here. Whoops, that was a mistake. Let me try this again. We have this triangle here in green, and then we have this triangle here in purple. Okay, and they have the same angle and they have the same side and they have the same side. So this is like side angle side congruence for you. But another way to consider this is if we have um, if we have a uh, isosceles triangle and it's split like this, then that means this also needs to equal six. Now, why does it need to equal six? Well, first off, these are congruent because of side angle side. So if that's six, then that is also six. And this is the reflexive property here. So I'm not sure how much you need to know. This is also a principle too. If it's an angle bisector, then it's a mid-segment bisector. Uh, it's a mid-segment um, bisecting that third side. So that one's kind of like an oddity really, but um, it's just kind of almost like uh, apparent by looking at it that it's also gonna be equal to six. So three is kind of a tricky one. Four, uh, it's hitting on this same principle again. It's also going to be equal to four uh, because if this angle, well, that's a congruent side that's reflexive. So these are two congruent triangles here. This is almost not even like an isosceles triangle problem, but it's it's one of the properties of um, angle bisecting with congruent sides. So that's just something to keep in mind. And it just so happens that these are going to be right angles too. Okay, but this is the problem I really want to get to here. If we have congruent sides let me go back to green we have congruent side congruent side that means that the base angles i didn't label this earlier but these are base angles okay they're the angles on the base that are congruent need to be the same so these are the base angles right here so this is x and this is x so what do we know the 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 equation we're going to set up is that x plus x plus 40 needs to equal 180 degrees. We know that the three angles in any triangle need to add up to 360. So we have a basic equation that we can set up to solve for x. So now we know that 2x, these are like terms, plus 40 equals 180. We subtract 40, subtract 40, we get 2x whoops, equals 140. So we get 2x equals 140. Now we just, it's a simple two-step equation, divide by two, or one-step equation now, x equals 70. So we know that x equals 70 degrees for both those base angles. So x equals, and let me change that to 70 degrees. Okay, 
Number six, very similar problem, okay? But now we have that the two legs of the triangle are here, okay? And these are the two base angles. So what does that mean? That means these two are gonna be equal to each other. It's very important that we identify the legs, okay? The legs are always congruent, and then the base angles, because the base angles are also gonna be congruent. So make sure you look at that. Now. One thing I should also add before we continue further is this is known as the vertex angle or just the vertex. This is the odd man out. He's different than the other guys. So that's our vertex angle. The base angles are equal. The vertex angle is not equal to the base angles unless it's equilateral. So we know that, but we're not asked to find the, the vertex. We're just asked to find this. So the X needs to equal 75 because base angles are equal in isosceles triangle. Okay, this time we need to identify the legs here. When we identify the legs, okay, we see that the base angles are here and here. So this is the vertex angle. Now, the vertex angle, as I suggested, is different than the other ones. So the base angles are equal. So we have 54 plus 54 plus x equals 180. So we're gonna just solve for x now. So we have 108 plus x equals 180. I'm gonna subtract 108, subtract 108. I get x equals 72. So this one's a little bit different, okay? Because we have uh, the base angles this time. Well, you, you should find this one first. That's your first step. And then your second step is finding uh, the vertex angle. But essentially we double the, ver the, the base angle, subtract that from 180 and that you're gonna get your missing vertex angle, which is 72 degrees, okay? If you take a look at this one, we're gonna do a couple more. We're gonna go rapid fire here. We have a leg, a leg, base angle, base angle. So we're missing 75, we'll write that in. And we can subtract 75 plus 75 from 180 because 75 plus 75 plus X needs to equal 180. Those are the three angles in the triangle. So we have 150 plus X equals 180. After we subtract 150 from both sides, we get X equals 30 degrees, and that is our vertex angle, okay? Um, let's go ahead, we might as well finish off the first page. This one's a little bit different because we need to do a little bit more work. We see this is 65, this is a leg, this is a leg. So this is 130 here with those two added together, leaving us 50 for that vertex angle. That vertex angle becomes a base angle of this bottom triangle. So this uh, bottom triangle will make this purple. This uh, has the two base angles given. So then this is also 50, and this is 100 between those two. That's 100 degrees, leaving 80 degrees for our vertex angle. That's another way to do it. If you don't like how I did it because it was too fast, we know that this is a vertex angle, so it's gonna be by itself, and the two base angles added, added along with it will give us um, uh, a sum equal to 180. So we subtract 100, subtract 100, we get x equals 80 for those that wanna do it that way. But I prefer kinda of doing it the fast way since we've done it so many, uh, so many times. Here we have another isosceles triangle. This time we're given, aha, uh -huh, I like this problem. Where this time we're given 28, and we're asked to find X over here. Well, we given that this is 90, so we need to do 90 minus 28 first, okay? In this case, we get, what is that, 62? So this is 62 for this angle. Let me draw it. Okay, that angle. That's a base angle for this vertex because the legs are here, okay? Those angles are on the opposite side of the, uh, the legs. Remember, the vertex angle is composed of the two legs. Okay, so that's the vertex angle. So now we just do 62 plus 62 plus X equals 180. That's 60, uh, that's 124, sorry. 124 plus X equals 180. So subtract 124, subtract 124. Okay, and we get X equals, what is that? Uh, not 60, it's 56 degrees. Okay. I think I'm gonna make this for a part two if you guys wanna watch that. This involves a little bit more algebra because we have some more complex angles involved. Stay tuned for part two coming right up after these messages.